Hey friends, Sparkle here to join you for your Sunday social. We're going to use yarn and I call it to paint with yarn because essentially we're going to do exactly that. We're going to start out with a piece of paper. It can be any color, anything. Uh, if it's a lighter color, you could use a Sharpie to draw a very basic design. Uh, in this case, since it's a dark piece of paper, I used like a white or a lighter color pencil. Rainbows or rows of colors can be, uh, there's no rules in that. You can make things any color that you like. I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start up here. I'm going to get some red yarn and I'm going to cut some pieces off so that it's not, um, I'm not trying to hold on to that whole ball of yarn. Even if I need more, it's very easy to glue them together, to put them in the glue in the same place. and. There you have it. So to do this project, really what you need is whatever colors of yarn you want to use to, and you can blend things as you saw in some of the other samples that I had. Uh, and so you're going to use the colors that you like. And I put, took some out, like I said, so that's easy. Cut some pieces so I'm not working out of the whole ball of yarn. And I'll do that with the others where you can cut them all ahead of time. But I'm going to get started. So I'm going to use this area that you can um, see here. And I'm going to make that the red. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with going right on that line with my glue. I'm going to go right on the line, pretty straightforward. And the beauty of this is if you wanted to change your project um, or your the way that you drew something while you're working is because your lines are going to disappear anyway, is you can do that. Like you can get a little creative with your glue. I'm going to go inside here and you can go like this. Okay, so we'll do that. Why don't we do that? We'll Usually I don't do more than one row of glue at a time, but we're going to do this. I'm going to do this squiggly row first. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn. Again, you can use any colors to do anything that you like. And I'm just going to lay that yarn. Oops, let's get it right here where you can see it. I'm going to put the yarn right in the glue. And I'm not going to worry too much about anything. Remember, this is going to this is Elmer's glue, white glue. So it will uh, dry clear. And you so you don't have to worry too much about it. Again, I'm just pressing things in there. You can always use things. Sometimes I use, um, especially when we go around some of these other corners, if we're if we're going, you know, making a um, writing words or getting a little more specific, making flower petals because you can arrange it. I use a toothpick for that. So if I wanted to change things around, or if I wanted to come um, make a corner, instead of getting my hands too full of glue, which they will anyway, so be prepared. Um, I just use something like this. You can use a toothpick. You can use a uh, your fingers. <laughs> I also sometimes will use a popsicle stick. That's a pretty, you know, can hold it and actually can sort of do the job so that I'm not even getting my fingers in there. So, and again, you can just move it. It's, it, the glue is wet. It's pretty kind of fun.
what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take some of a uh, little bit of each color. Not too much. It's not that big of a hole. I'm just going to make some little fluff, little pieces, little pieces, a little bigger, a little smaller. rainbow with joy um, or joyous rainbow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back and cut it all and you'll see the finished product thank you friends thanks for joining me I hope that this is a project that you will enjoy all of you together making designs just be working together so enjoy sparkle out mm -hmm.